Welcome to the Kimball Compound, you crazy bastards, and let's talk pro wrestling with Rob Kimball Brand. And we're going to be kicking it off with talking about the WWE's new era. And uh, the one thing that came up about on Raw was the Universal Championship, which Seth Rollins will be in the match at SummerSlam against Finn Balor after he won. That was awesome, badass. Um, so they just proclaimed having their own new championship. What about, say, the women over on SmackDown? Should they get a new championship or an IC championship? Something for the women to fight for because otherwise, really, they're sitting there fighting each other for absolutely no prize in the end. So I think they should bring in a new belt and a uh, tag team championship, universal cha belt, or something along the lines where those tag teams on SmackDown are fighting for something besides kicking each other's ass. So, just my opinion, what do you guys think? Is this a good idea? More belts, or is that just going to saturate everything and uh, just become bland? I mean, that's a possibility as well, too, but if you're trying to build two brands, two separate entities, I think they should all have their own separate championships, and it just means more for the tag division, the women's division, the heavyweight division, the IC division, the, even the U.S. title. It, it doesn't even have to be that. And speaking of which, the cruiserweight division. So will there be a cruiserweight championship belt on the line when that does start to develop? I think it's definitely awesome if they did. So what do you guys think? Comment down below. The championship belts, having too many, not enough. What do you guys think? What should WWE do? I know uh, I think they should have simple as that plus there's more merchandise to sell and uh, hey more money for Vince and making this business run a little bit more with more money so they could do more with more say free agents that is so free agents is another great thing to talk about because now you can just sign these people they weren't drafted free agents which is great Smackdown that was awesome so that was something new you got Shelton Benjamin you got Rhino so now we're trying to make the uh, sports entertainment a lot like real sports. So, free agency is out there in the, the real sports, but there's salary caps. Now, are we going to have salary caps in the WWE on SmackDown Raw? I'm sure they're not going to talk about how much they pay each talent, but the point is there should be some kind of cap because Shane McMahon could go crazy and just buy up all the talent that's, you know, out say from New Japan, TNA, Ring of Honor, uh, Pro Wrestling Gorilla. You could just go crazy and buy them all. And then SmackDown, or SmackDown would be running the show, the WWE Network that is, and Raw would be stuck with what they have. So I mean, so there would be like some kind of a, a monopoly thing. So if I think they should have like a salary cap. I don't know, if, is it going too far into the sports type thing or uh, I think it makes sense personally. So what do you guys think about that? I think it's a great idea. Throw in a salary cap, treat it like a real sports entity. The whole, you know, National Football League, Major League, you, you gotta have that to make it fair. And it sounds like a really good idea to me personally. So, so let me know. And then another question there, who should main event SummerSlam? Now, the whole new championship makes it feel really special, and Finn Balor's in the match, so that makes it pretty goddamn cool. But the man that runs the place, Dean Ambrose, already beat Seth Rollins, already beat Roman Reigns. He is the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. So I'm thinking Ambrose Ziggler should main event, although a lot of people are not hot on Ziggler anymore due to previous three years or so where, you know, he's back now. He was hot, 2011, 12. And then since it's just, he's like the bastard child. So um, he's a great talent, definitely badass, and that match is gonna be sick. I hope it main events. What do you guys think? Balor versus Rollins, Lesnar versus Orton, even Charlotte versus Sasha Banks. All of them could main event. I'm thinking they should go Ambrose Ziggler, but what if we did have the very first women's main event for the title at SummerSlam this year? That would be huge. Charlotte talked about it already. It would be a pretty goddamn good match. These two killed it down in NXT. They can definitely handle their own. And uh, what a way to go up, you know? Shit. 
you finally do something new, we're talking new era, let's do it. Throw it in there. Main event, the women. That would be awesome. I'm down with that. What do you guys think? Are they up to that? I definitely, they are. But do you think they can carry a 30 to 40 minute awesome match at SummerSlam with the nerves get to them? They're still young and uh, I, I think they definitely can hold their own. They're pros and uh, it would be fun to watch and nice way to go out at SummerSlam. The women looking freaking like they absolutely deserve it and then they do. So let's see what happens. And um, moving on some other things that are out there what should we do with Roman Reigns uh, now that uh, the moms and kids love them and they, and they buy the merch they bring the kids to the venues to see their favorite Roman Reigns so um, I saw an article about somebody said well let's blame the moms and the kids because of it. hey it's the same thing with John Cena and if you ever go to a live event John Cena there are many grown dudes wearing Cena gear, a lot, and the, the, the cheers are pretty much more on the positive side than the booze, so, and, and that typically goes for TV tapings as well. That seems more like half-half, but really live shows, Cena gear everywhere, and uh, it seems like that that's the way they're going to go with Roman Reigns. Yes, a heel turn would be really awesome. And I think it would really help his career, but I think they've already on they're on pace for this just major baby face. He's gonna stay that way. It's like you can't take a, a Tom Brady and turn him into an asshole. Well, I guess you can because played with balls. <laughs> That is what it is, guys. Um, I think that they will never turn Roman Reigns heel. It would be fun if they did. Um, I don't think it's a big thing. He's just the guy. He doesn't have to be good or bad. All right, I, I can get down with that. And I think he has grown a lot in the ring, more than people give him credit for. They just like to boo the guy. And simple as that, he's, he's a big very 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 athletic man so let him do his thing and uh, I, I, I agree with him staying babyface personally and then another question we've been waiting for years where's sister Abigail will this be the time the new era we finally get sister Abigail to show her face or even if she's wearing one of the sheep's masks a woman following the Wyatts or leading all the wives. Uh, that would be pretty damn cool. Looks like Braun Strowman's completely on his own. He looks like one of the dudes from the Vikings. So it looks like he is definitely away from the Wyatt family. And uh, Luke Harper hopefully should be back very soon. Will that uh, all come back together or will Bray just be on his own and Sister Abigail possibly show up? Much like a Rosemary from the Decay in TNA. That would be badass if she's a wrestling talent. So that would add another woman to the roster. I think that's a win-win, and I think Santana Garrett was posting pictures as Sister Abigail, so hey, she can go in the ring, and uh, she's definitely a nice guy to be, so hey, there you go. And will the USA Network eventually push uh, WWE to make SmackDown three hours? Hey, that's, that's a possibility, folks. Three hours. Raw's been doing it for a couple years now. A lot of people complain about it, but there's a lot of people that watch professional sports that are three plus hours a game, and a lot of games really suck. So <laughs> there's a lot of boring games that people will sit through, and that's okay in the end of the day. So I think eventually there's too much money at stake. You know, the USA Network, they could really boost up revenue here if they make an extra hour out of SmackDown. And making it live definitely created buzz. Yes, the ratings were down a little bit, but eventually it's going to grow. Once this, everything is going to keep getting better, better, better. It's, we all hope. We all hope that it gets better and it Raw kicked ass. SmackDown was pretty good, you know. Nothing like Raw, but it's kind of hard to uh, compete with what they did. That was that was awesome. And you're going to have your ups and downs on both shows. Just like professional sports, you have ups and downs. So we'll see what happens. And then another section here, we're going to talk about rumors of the week. Now, this week, some of the rumors are Kurt Angle. Is he finally coming back to the WWE? They're looking for older talent in the new era. 
And Kurt Angle definitely can still go. He's been rocking it in TNA for, what, 10 years? And um, he's still badass. He can go. He's had some previous past demons we all know about. And a lot of back and forth about him coming back to WWE and uh, how he's made phone calls and pissed off certain people. It is what it is. But hey, will we see Kurt Angle? I think we will. And uh, it would be nice to see him there. And um, then an, another one, Melina. I guess she she's the soonest to be back. So it looks like she's coming back. And then SummerSlam match. Brock Lesnar versus Randy Orton. It looks like Brock Lesnar is a lock to win this match. And um, hey, it looks like they're going to skip over the whole failed drug test thing and just act like it never happened. That's what they choose to do, that's totally fine. Um, it's not the MMA, this is WWE, and um, if he violates any policies in WWE, which are, are very strict, so he will end up getting suspended. So we'll see what happens there. And then Charlotte was the one that asked for time off. That's why we had the early women's championship exchange to, Char or to Sasha. Now, Sasha was supposed to win it at SummerSlam. These are rumors. Who knows? But she does deserve it. So, that's pretty good. And then, um, if you guys have heard of any other rumors, please, please post any of them down below in the comments. And uh, if you have any questions that you might have, leave that in the comments and we'll try to get back to you, you know. And um, definitely, if you got more rumors, hell yes, definitely drop them in the comments. And uh, that is it from the Kimball Compound. Until next time, keep supporting pro-frickin' wrestling.